hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel yeah so the long awaited daily market review is here all right yeah so we went on a break yes and i'm back all right yeah so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet make sure you click on the subscribe button and smash notification because the market review is going to come your way every day all right yeah, that is every trading day do you get it yes yeah. so we'll review what has happened in the day then we look at what is yet to happen so far as going into a new day is concerned so it's going to be a review and then analysis for the next trading day all right yeah so today being monday the 10th of june 2024 i mean we had a bank holiday for portugal and then australia all right yeah so today being monday we didn't really see nothing much happened on the market all right yes so that is just that so going into tuesday we have the australian nab business confidence for the month of may then you have unemployment rate for gbp for the month of april then employment change for the month of april for gbp all right yeah so these are the high impact news you expect on the market going into tuesday let's delve into the chat and see what is happening all right if you haven't watched my weekly market outlook go and watch it all right before you come here because I'm, I'm i'm i mean i'm still following what i'm expecting on the market for the week all right yes that i'll be i'll be giving you a daily breakdown so that is what the daily market review is all about all right if there's any changes to my outlook for the week it is a daily market reviews that i will make it clear for you all right yeah so if you watch the weekly and you don't watch it daily you are messing out if you watch if, if you watch just the daily and you're not watching the weekly too you won't really really get things clear all right yeah so you need to watch both so that you'll be able to what flow along with me yeah so that is that so, so we start with the language for the line index on the weekly i made you aware that I'm expecting price to what to push to the upside all right but before that i want to see price pull push the downside to fill 50 percent of this impulse move that was made on friday before we see a continuation to the upside today being mind we saw price was pushing to the, continue to push the upside to finally take out these highs we are seeing here all right yeah so I want to see price push to the downside let's switch to the four hour time frame for us to see all right yeah so for the daily market reviews we will be visiting the one hour time frame a lot all right yeah so take note of that so i want to see price push up all right at least fill 50 percent of this zone right here all right yes you fill 50 percent at least 50 percent of this zone right here all right let me do it properly and these ones yes because they are all impulse moves that have been made all right yeah so i want to see price fill at least 50 percent of the zone all right at least 50 percent then we see a continuation to the upside all right yeah so as a stand i'm expecting to see retracement happening on the dollar index before we see a continuation to the upside yeah so that is my expectation for the dollar index let's move to AUDUSD and see what is happening there too yeah so for AUDUSD, we, we, we saw what an impulse move to the downside on friday all right yeah so as it stands now whatever we are seeing here is retracement i'm expecting to see price to retrace a little bit to the upside then you see a continuation to the downside all right yeah so this is it so this is the huge impulse move we, are we, we saw happening on friday as a result of the nfp so today being monday we've seen a correction happening all right so going into tuesday i want to see price continue to what to push up a little bit then we see a pull to the downside all right remember price is trading above what sunday's opening price or the weekly opening price and that is the word that is in a premium zone for us so you take note of that all right here yeah, so i'll expect to see price push to the upside for if not fully at least a part of it into this block right here all right yes into this block right here all right price push up into the zone right here then you see a push to the downside all right yes yeah. so that is going to be my expectation so far as adusd is concerned so make sure you be on a watch for this market 
that is that for AD USD. Let's see what is happening on USD card. So AD USD USD card inverse relationship. All right, yes. So at the stance now, on Friday we saw what we saw a very huge impulse move to the upside, and so whatever we are seeing here is a what is retracement. Unlike the fact that price is what is trading above the weekly opening price, I only see price come lower. All right, yes. So I only see price come lower to the zone right here all right you know the zone here or this very zone right here all right yes any of them will be good for price to work to push continue to push to the upside so i see price push the downside once we see a pull to the downside that is what below what the weekly opening price that's the what that that means price is now in a what in a discount zone for us we just see price push into the zone or the zone right here. Then we see a push to the upside. So as a stance now for USD card, I'm still expecting to see USD card push to the downside for a short term. Then we see a continuation to the upside. So that is going to be my expectation. So far as USD card is concerned, let's look at what is happening on Euro card. All right, yeah. So for the weekly, for my weekly market outlook, I spoke about this gap right here. All right, I gave you a bullish scenario for Eurocard. Yes, I gave you a bullish scenario for Eurocard. So far as this zone right here is still what is still holding price. All right, so far as this zone right here is still holding price, I'm expecting price to what to continue to what, to push to the upside unless unless we see price violating the zone. All right, unless we see price violate this zone, then close below it. All right, that that will change my what my bullish stance on this market. But so far as price is still this zone is still holding price, then definitely you see price. I'm expecting to see price continue to push to the upside. But on a long term basis, I would wait for this gap right here. All right. I would wait for price to to violate this gap you are seeing right here that was created prior to market open all right yes for the market open for the week so i want to see price violate it close above it that is going to be or that that zone is going to will serve as a support of which is going to be my entry then i'll expect to see price push to the upside so for euro card that is my expectation so moving to the one hour yes yeah, so this is a zone i have i marked out on the four hours i want to see price push up all right yes i want to see price push up violate the gap right here close above it then finally we see a push to the upside so that is going to be my expectation so far as Euro card is concerned provided this this very zone right here all right the zone i showed you on the 4 hour let's let's get back to it let me let me switch back to the one hour for us to to see yes all right this zone right here this zone all right the zone I, I i marked out this very zone right here all right so far as price is is holding up i'm expecting to see price push the upside but if we should see price giving us a what a violation and an enclosure below that very zone then we are expecting to see price push to the downside all right yeah so that is just that so far as euro card is concerned all right yes yeah, so that is just that for euro card let's look at what is happening on euro aud all right yeah yeah so for euro aud we realize that on the lower time frame price is is looking bearish all right but if we should move to the higher time frame realize how price has been rough around the zone for some time now all right let's switch to the daily and see whenever you're on a, on, on a time frame and then things are not clear for you move to a higher time frame all right yes once you move to a higher time frame things are going to be clear for you so for euro aud this zone right here all right let me 
let me mark out this zone is still holding price all right this whole this zone is still is still holding price so until we see a violation and a closure below the zone i'm still bullish all right until we see a violation and then a closure below it i'm still bullish on the zone right here all right yes yeah, so going into tomorrow i'll expect to see price push to the upside since that zone has not been violated yet all right so take note of the conditions i'm outlining since that zone has not been violated yet i'll expect to see price push to the upside all right yeah so unless that zone is being violated my bullish stance or my bullish scenario still stands yeah so that is, is going to be my expectation so far as euro aud is concerned all right so far as other markets are concerned price action is not clear for me on other markets that is why i'm showing you these ones all right yes lately price the the, the the forex market hasn't really been giving us good price actions all right remember we are in, we are in an election year and so don't expect much from the from the currency market but the ones that i mean price action is clear for me that is what i'm talking to you about it all right yes yeah. so going into tomorrow i will assess other markets to and see whatever clear price action i'm seeing on other markets in our subsequent daily review and analysis, I'll make it available to you. All right. But for now, these are the markets that are clear to me. So take note of that. Yeah. So that is just that for the daily market review and analysis. All right. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do all to click on the subscribe button and smash the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. The link to my Telegram community is in the description box below. Click on it and be part of the Clevian Traders Telegram community. My Telegram ID too is in the description box below. If you want to have a conversation with me, or if you want to, I mean, if you want us to talk about certain things, don't hesitate to get to me on Telegram. All right, I'm going. I'm going to reply you as soon as possible. I wish you all good luck and good trade. Peace.